it's, it's really sad how few people really see. How few people really see what's coming. Most people are just oblivious. And then the ones that do see what's coming, all they do is talk about it. They probably wonder, well, what can I do? Well, talking is not doing. Demonstrating, going out and speaking against and making videos against, and that's not uh, doing anything. There's only one way to do something that's going to change things. And that is to be a doer of the Word of God. Not a hearer only, but a doer. That's what makes the difference between the foolish and the wise. The foolish heard the message. They heard the word. But they didn't do anything. Well, I can't say they didn't do anything because the scripture says they did build on sinking sand. So, yeah, there's a lot of effort going on today, but it's all in vain. The scripture says that he that labors, he that builds a house, he labors in vain that builds it. Unless the Lord builds the house. It's all in vain. And he that keeps the city tries to watch for the city. It's in vain lest the Lord is in control. It's, it's all going to come to naught. Do you understand that? It's all going to come to naught. There is no remedy outside of Jesus Christ. There is no remedy. There is no answer. For the world's problems today, but Jesus Christ. He is the answer. He's not just one of the many answers. He's the only answer. You get folks in this world that cheat on tests. And they get a passing grade. And they might make it a while. Might even make it a long time. But if you had a test before you and the teacher says, I'm going to give you a test and I'm going to give you the answers. I'm going to give you the answers to the test. And it's completely legit. Now, if you use my answers that I give you for the test, you pass. But if you don't use the answers, and you choose to put your own answers on the paper, you fail. Now, God has given us, not only do we have a problem, sin is the problem. God didn't give that to us, right? Adam and Eve gave it to us. But we have a problem before us. 
but God has given us the answer to the problem. And the answer to the problem is not, it's not 666. It's not any number is not the answer to the problem. Jesus Christ is the answer to the problem of sin. He not only completed the problem, with the correct answer at Calvary, please listen, he removed the problem. So there's no longer a problem. But this world wants you to get caught up in a math, in math, wants to get you caught up in trying to figure out M... C equals whatever. Trying to get you to rationalize the universe in, a, in an equation, in a small little equation. M, I think it's MC equals 2 or something like that. Whatever that is. Then I look at a picture of the man that came up with this equation. And when he died... He, his own words were that he couldn't complete the problem. Couldn't come up with the answer to the problem. And they show a picture of his desk and it's so disorganized. Then you look at a picture of him and his hair standing up straight. And he's supposed to be the most intelligent uh, genius of all time. And then you get this physicist that everybody's listening to today in the world that's following him. That believes that they think they have found the God particle. The problem is not M, C equals 2 or whatever. The problem, listen clearly, the problem is sin. That's the problem. It's that simple. The problem is sin. The answer is Jesus Christ. Amen. You apply the blood of Jesus Christ that he shed at Calvary to the problem. Not only do you solve the problem, but you remove it. Praise God. All the problems in the world today, every single problem, can be answered with one answer. Jesus. Oh yeah. Praise the living God. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Praise God. You know, this world is all caught up in wanting to find the fountain of youth, to stay young, or trying to find an unlimited supply of energy, trying to tap into this, some new energy supplement. I know the source of unlimited Unlimited power. Infinite, unlimited power. And it's not 
just energy. It's not just dark matter. It's not just something out of the universe. He is a person. Three persons in the Godhead. Just like there's three persons and there can be three persons in a family. The father, the mother, and a child. You got God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. Three persons in the Godhead. These three are one. Now, you are without excuse. Even the eternal Godhead and His power in the Godhead is plainly, clearly seen in nature. Most everything is made up in threes. Again, the answer to the world's problems, the world's problems are sin related, is Jesus Christ. That's the answer. You get that answer and you get it right. You'll pass the test. You will pass the test. You put any other answer down, for any of the problems in this world and you're going to fail. Even in your personal life, whatever you're going through, Jesus is the answer. We sing a song, Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. God bless you.